Hey guys, we're here at the um, Old Palm Harbor downtown and it's a car show and I've got uh, Suzanne with me. And Tell us about the show. Well, this is the fourth annual Old Palm Harbor Car Show for breast cancer. We started the show four years ago because my grandmother was diagnosed for the second time. 100% of the proceeds goes to Susan G. Coleman three day for the cure, which is the 60 mile walk. And we have about, I think about 180 cars out here today, which is a little low, but I'm going to take it because we had a whole lot of 80 percent chances of rain so it is an absolutely gorgeous day down here well we're in the 20 percent chance of no rain right yeah we're in the 20 percent we're in the dry window the dry window all right cool well thank you for sharing we're going to have some more video of this and uh still shots of, of a lot of the cars and shows and things that's going on thank you so much you're welcome hey we're here with grace grace fx tell us about what you do uh we don't do anything <laughs> well, good. <laughs> he doesn't want to be on TV. But they do some really cool stuff, which I'm going to show you in just a minute, okay? Watch here. This process here is what we can do is we can paint any material. As long as it can get wet, we can dip it. So what we'll do is we'll actually paint a base coat on the part, and after that base coat dries, we'll take a pattern, cut some off of a roll of film, set it in our water tanks, and after one minute, we'll spray an activator on that pattern, which will actually turn it into a liquid. After it turns into a liquid, we'll take the part that we just painted and dip it right through there, and the pattern will etch itself into the paint. You have a nice custom paint finish, we'll rinse off, dry, and then we'll put clear coat over. They get, we have 50 different patterns, they make over 500. So if you want a nice paint job or a custom work on your motorcycle or car or firearms, bring it on down, we can do it. Where are you guys located? We are on Port Ritchie at uh, 6230 Stone Road. And the name of your company is? It's Grace FX. Cool. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Yeah, I was walking down through here and I just noticed a pretty cool car. Looks like a kit car or something. So, Paul, you want to tell us about what this is? This is the 2011 Rolls-Royce Ghost. It's the only other model other than the Phantom that Rolls-Royce has made since 1984. They've only made 300 Ghosts in, in 2011 for distribution in the United States. And they're handmade in 19 days in Goodwood, England. So, so I was wrong. It's not a kit car. It is definitely not a kit car, folks. <laughs> uh, I, I sort of knew that, but Paul's played along with it. We're really good. Hey, thanks, Paul. Appreciate it. We're going to take a look at the car. Paul, you can tell us about the car while we're looking at it, okay? Sounds good to me. So up front, we've got a 6.6-liter direct-injected twin-turbo V12. It pushes out 563 brake horsepower and 570 foot-pounds of torque at 1,500 RPMs. It really gets off the line. And you've got the wing victory on the front of this thing, right? That is the spirit of ecstasy. And if you look closely, it's engraved. It's actually the 100th anniversary of the spirit of ecstasy. It says, spirit of ecstasy, centenary 2011. Wow. It's the only year that will have that engraving on it. Wow. The car runs 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds and hits the quarter mile at 13.1 at 106 miles an hour. And how much does this thing weigh? This car weighs 5,500 pounds exactly. Wow, that's some horsepower to get it through the quarter that, at that speed. It's the horsepower and that torque is at 1,500 RPM. So as soon as you take off from the line, you know you're in a Rolls Royce. Wow. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Yeah, all kinds of vehicles here. Uh, this looks like a, I don't know, maybe a road course machine. It's hard to tell. Uh, yeah, if your road course is the Everglades, and hey, we live in Florida, so these are uh, coming pretty handy here. These guys are actually from my hometown of Dunedin. Hardcore trucks. You can kind of get an idea of, <laughs> of how tall these things are. There's some young lady under there. She can walk under there. I guess it'd be pretty easy to work on because you just walk underneath things and pull them out. It's pretty cool. Yeah, if you're wondering why this uh, film is a little shorter than most, then well, if you look behind me, you maybe can't see it. There's this giant cloud that's heading toward us at about 37 miles an hour, they tell us. And uh, it's about an hour, 40 miles away, so we got about an hour before this place uh, turns into a uh, monsoon. So we're uh, kind of moving out. But we will see you next time.